Hello Marvel Heroes fans uh, and all the fans of Juggernaut, my name is Wilfred and welcome to my channel. Now normally I will not uh, do a video update unless there's some substantial kind of change to the hero and so on, but I was about to experiment a lot more on the uh, movement build for Juggernaut. Didn't work out too well, so I'm going back to his uh, Sunday kind of like punch build. And I've uh, also relooked into some of the numbers and uh, is there anything else I could do because now the hero is already very dated from the last time I made the video on Juggernaut. And the... Um, how long does it take for Gazillion to update a hero? Like I always say, uh, take a look at the historical trend. The last update was uh, Emma Frost, it could be a month or two months away ago. So if you think about all these things, into, take all this into consideration, it probably take a while for all 60 heroes to get renewed and review and so on. So I believe Juggernaut probably will stay where he is right now. Now, I, uh, I've tried out the movement build, it didn't work out too well for me, just because the play style is just not kind of the kind of movement that I would envisage him to be. So I go back to Sunday build, Sunday punch, which is uh, this option here. Um, this build actually is pretty, still pretty alright as a brawler build. Um, if you're a fan, you will play the hero anyway, so I'm here to help you out on that one. And the, um, in terms of DPS wise, I think it's a little bit below the curve already uh, compared to other heroes. Of course, you could get all the best in slot for him, uh, all the crafted items and so on, uh, which make him alright. But I, equally, I could say, why not give you the stronger heroes and make the heroes even stronger, right? So um, I, I'm just using all his unique and so on. The gear wise, I'll also share with you uh, some of the new gears that uh, we have in the game and what you could potentially use. And because he's feeling a little bit more fragile these days compared to um, other heroes, because uh, as a melee hero, he doesn't really have, have a lot of invulnerable kind of power, unlike like Black Cat or Iron Fist, or no, all those newer heroes, they have all this power that make the heroes invulnerable while doing damage or stealth and so on. He doesn't have that. And his animation is extremely slow. So you know that before he does something, he's already received like 10 hits from everybody else. So your, your health already take a big chunk off of it. Um, so, but, um, but uh, I mean, I'm, I, I understand there are always uh, Juggernaut fans and this one, this video is for the fans. And I'm going to run him through the core Smack Danger Room, then talk a little bit about the rotation for single target. Then after that, uh, go into build and gear and so on, alright? Cosmic Danger Room with um, Juggernaut and this one has uh, Soul Blade Trap as well as Blizzard. Um, not going to be, well, somewhere in the middle, I guess. And the, uh, let's see what I need to do here. I need to defeat the three lieutenants. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip through all this mumbo jumbo and uh, try not to get myself like a uh, kill while doing that. <laughs> okay, uh, so it's just uh, all the way inside, uh, penetrating the enemy line. And uh, I think uh, somewhere here I should. Um, uh, okay, so somewhere here. So. I'm a too. Okay, so I'm just trying to. I have an invulnerable up here, and the, I'm just going to do a signature around this area. These are the uh, amplifier thing, uh, and, uh, damage amplifying kind of thing. So that was the first one. Wow, the second one actually quite near. Oh, okay. Let me just like uh, instead of hmm, just get another angle in. To a charge, yeah. So that was a okay. So I, I shoot up one, two, and then three. Can they punch in? And the uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get an angle to, to sort of like you know to make sure that I'm I'm well positioned. And the uh, okay, do another into the fray. So that is the signature. Doesn't seem to hit a lot, huh? One, two, three, Sunday punch. Yeah. I hope I'm hitting something though. Sometimes it's very hard whether I'm like hitting error or not in this game. It's very hard to see. Sunday punch. And so that is done. I just grab more of this thing, this thing, this thing as well. Okay, I think I need all these things. Whoa, there's quite a fair bit of stuff inside. So what should I do? Uh, hmm, be brave, I guess. Um, maybe I come from here. Maybe I just go for the boss. Probably the stupidest idea ever. You we'll see, charge. Whoa, hang on, I got stuck. This this magia is like, oh, come on. Okay, so it's signature. Wow. You know this signature, he should be invulnerable, really. 
to be honest. What? I can't. I can't move, man. Something is hitting me, and I can't move. Um. Okay, let me just like do a Sunday punch here. I, like you know, I feel a little bit. Uh, something is hitting. I need to get rid of all this range guy first, and the punch. I think. Uh, uh, the, the sad thing is I don't really see a lot of like you know really big numbers from the punch except unless the uh you know, I, I, okay how about this one okay done I still need to collect my stuff here Scenario maybe I should successful. like you know all right so that's done and the uh, I've completed on to the next one wasn't a little bit hard because there's so limited space over here and there's quite a lot of hazard there as well couldn't really draw out the balls. Okay, next one, locate the uh, civilian. So I'm just going to rush it through. Uh, try to avoid the thing on the ground if I can see them. This game is so hard to see. I wish there's some mod that I could like turn the background into some other color that I can really see what's happening um, on, on the floor or whatnot, on the trap and so on. But it's quite a number of stuff. Huh? Okay, you know what? Let me, just, let me just do it slowly, man. Let me just do it. How do I get down to there? And maybe there's another part here. Let's get rid of this thing first. Okay, uh, wow, this tight corner is very hard for... for um, mm, I've got that is unstoppable. <laughs> achievement. I haven't played, you know, Juggernauts ever since the achievement, so... Charge! Round of applause! The fray. Suddenly punch! Come on man, punch the guy! Uh huh. What am I supposed to do next one, is it? There's still something there? I need to defeat this guy, I think. Punch! 6 million! 6.7, which is kind of tiny. Compared to the big elbow drop, that's fine. So I, am I done with the thing? Okay, so these people are out, so I need to locate a second group of civilian. Try to avoid all these things that slows me down, and the uh, and that is about it, uh, I think. Well, this is uh, okay. Tell, tell what? Let me just uh, try not to. Well, it's it's okay to be brave, but I uh, don't want to be stupid. And, uh, to, uh, it's a problem with chicken is I keep hitting stuff, man. Punch, and the. Uh, You get out from this one, then and this is okay. I mean, this kind of uh, affix is very good for for range because range you just stand on the enemy, uh, the M5 zone, but you can't really for for melee. So let me just continue get get rid of this thing first. And the, uh, yeah, it's a bit uh, hard because it's um, it seems like the something is getting cancelled. Let me just try to get another angle to it. Okay, this is the one that's been uh, going around. And then you go to the other side, is it? I'm oh, fine. Okay, <laughs> go all the way in and all the way back out again. Hmm. Okay, where is. I see this thing. Okay, wow, there's so many of them. Hmm. Let me see, what do I need to do? What? Wow, this is a bit hard, man, seriously. And the. Uh, because of the number of fire thing that go on here, uh, let me just get another angle to it. Um, hmm. Ready for the cowboy curtain call? Uh, that pull to the save the day again. Uh, I think round of pause into the fray, and uh, let my, my juggernaut um, cough. I think I I'm fine. Simulation That's successful. it. Situation simulation completed. Actually, that was quite hard because of the, um, you know, sometimes Juggernaut can feel a little bit um, fragile. So I'm going to use the ultimate in just a bit. And the, um, I think I'll use the ultimate when, when I, um, okay, where's, uh, where's my good old friend? Oh man, all this blade and stuff like that. One, two, three, ultimate.
Yeah, and yeah. Shoot myself and sit the chair. And this is the very good chance for me to do anything substantial to my to my friend here. And where is my oh man, my my Deadpool is dead. Come on man. One, two. Sunday punch! Oh man, whoa, that was close man. Whew. That was really close. I was like in the middle of the fight and where's my K button? I have to like, you know, you know how the um sometimes in the live show, you know, those kind of musicians gonna play like just hit everything on the keyboard. I was about to do that as well. So yeah, I mean uh, it's a bit of excitement there. And they, they always like to put one box here. So for, for those who like, you know, I didn't see it coming like ooh, you know, then let's go for another one. And then you miss this box here. I don't know why they have to put it so far away. Why can't they just put it next to each other? Hmm? Okay, so that's all. Uh, let's help it out and talk a little bit about uh, his build and so on, all right? So let's look at the uh, single target rotation for Juggernaut. We could be a little bit different when you deal with the, uh, all the madness around you. You can't really think about rotation all the time. Uh, but um, I have actually two hotbar set up. Uh, one is the one with the Crimson Force field on the hotbar because I, I realized I really have the access to this power quite a fair bit uh, in the harder content because he tend to feel a little bit fragile. I've got another hotbar uh, hot kind of like a setup which is with the uh, devastating charge to help me re replenish uh, you know, uh, momentum. And I usually for single target or raid environment, I will use this hotbar. And as for as far as hotbar dancing is concerned, F1 is a stride. We, nowadays, he walk really fast and gain a lot of momentum. Uh, three seconds, you can gain a max. And then uh, F2, hmm. uh, yeah, sometimes the game is a little bit, little bit bugged. Um, sometimes you, you, you set, one, set up one hotbar and the second hotbar doesn't work. So the second one is that uh, crowd control breaker, as I always do. And the third one is the uh, force field if I need to, uh, for, for raid environment. If I need to pop a shield, I can. So now, um, rotation. Just remember a couple of things here. Uh, very important to remember. Sunday punch is every six seconds, but there's a condition to it. Condition to it. Uh, your momentum has to be about 50%. So even though you may be off cooldown, but if your momentum is not enough, there's no Sunday punch for you. So you always have to make sure that before the timer go off, you have enough momentum. Now, how do you gain momentum? Either you run around or use a devastating charge like the one here. All right, hey, hmm, sorry. <laughs> like this one here, right? So this is charge that will give you quite a fair bit of momentum, all right? So that, that is one way to, to just remember this one comes in uh, pretty handy. And also, the into the into enter the fray, into the fray, enter the fray. This one will give you a very nice, like a tremendous, you see that all the grounds are doing this. It's quite a decent uh, damage over time, by the way. But this one will only trigger so long as you have 30% of um, a momentum. Uh, so always make sure that you have it um, between the four second to eight second window. Now, why do I say eight second to four second window? Because if you are dealing with single targets, you do not need to have enter the fray at a 30% every time because the, the, the damage over time lasts for two windows. So you could, have an, you could have a scenario whereby every other enter the fray, you have 30% of maximum momentum. But uh, if you can, can't kind of remember all these things, yeah? So that's one thing. Another thing that you should take note of is round of applause is also quite a decent uh, damage layer as well. Uh, you don't need to do it often. Every two enter the frail, you can uh, do a round of applause. It applies vulnerability, but more importantly is that uh, you increase massively on the momentum itself um, based on the momentum that you spend. So, you know, that would give you quite a fair bit of um, uh, damage output. Uh, if you recall, I think the last video I used, probably I used Headbutt, uh, but I realized it's no longer that fantastic anymore. So I don't know what happened to it. Maybe when you enter, when you have a high momentum, it just doesn't seem to uh, scale up that well. So I would recommend, you know, these are the main spender. Uh, you only use a charge when you do not have, uh, so, okay, a couple of things. If you do not have enough momentum, like I said, you can thrive, you can charge, and the third one you can do is a Sion of Citarette. This one will replenish your spirit, uh, momentum by quite a fair bit, all right? And of course, unstoppable charge will also give you momentum. So just remember what are the things that give you momentum, when can you time it, and then, um, and what you can, uh, you know, uh, spend your momentum with. All right. So the last thing, last two things, I'd like to introduce to you also, uh, Rook, Rook the Dupe, 
broke a tube. It's the uh, single spender. It's a basic power. Uh, but the wonderful, wonderful things about it is that uh, as your momentum goes up, the attack speed goes up as well. It restores your momentum, which is very important in this build. This build eats up a lot of momentum. It requires to maintain you know, 30% momentum to use Enter the Fray. You know, 50% momentum to use Sunday Punch. And all, all of this will span momentum as well, right? So these are the things that you have to... Uh, you have to bear in mind, all right? So all these things that you need to think about. And the um, and yeah, okay, so the next bit is really a demonstration of the rotation itself. So as for the rotation, I'm just going to verbalize the sequence first. And after that, you can observe what I'm, I've done. Um, you always start the fight with full momentum because you always like, you know, walked in and you, you seldom start the fight with no momentum at all. So once you've done it, uh, I'll do a round of applause to apply vulnerability, enter the fray to give you the kind of earthquake damage over time effect, Sunday punch to give you the huge, like, you know, momentum, full momentum kind of punch onto the mob. And after that, I'll do a signature, uh, just go round and round and round. And after that, uh, I would then Depends on what I need to do, but I'll probably go into the Sions of Cigarette and apply all this like you know uh, stuff that I do uh, over over the end of the fray and uh, Sunday punch as well. And the uh, and well, round of applause is every two end of the fray around there because of vulnerability the buff is um, every nine point seven seconds, so it's around two or three of them. Uh, and the uh, if you can remember, because it, it's always good to go back into action after the devastating charge because there will be a point. At a point whereby you do not have enough momentum. So what you do is that you make sure that you have got the charge and the enter fray back in again. So in short, uh, you always start with the full momentum here, and after that, um, all right. So it's like one, two, three. That's signature. Come on, check it out. So that's the signature. All right, it's hitting, hitting, hitting. All right. So it's a like one, two, three. Then, uh, then I'm using the uh, Zidrat already. Two, then Sunday punch soon. Okay, I make sure that everything is spanned as well, you know, uh, be because once you are on that signature thingy, then once you are getting a bit low, then you can do a charge, then enter the fray back in again. So that's what I meant, you know, always, always like, you know, use your charge before the enter the fray, so it's going back to the action. All right, so. Okay, onto his build. Uh, this is what I would recommend uh, for Juggernaut, and uh, that is provided that you have 168 points to to uh, to use. So uh, there's a toggle called the lean on lean into it, and make sure that it's on. Sometimes it's hard, right? You don't know whether the toggle is on. I wish that they had a buff window here. Why not, right? Really, why not? Because it's a buff, right? So in any case, uh, this is great because it buffed the non movement power. This is a non movement build. Um, although there are some some kind of like you know um, power that has a movement tag like into the f enter the fray as well as the unstoppable charge. I wish that this toggle do not force you to pick either side because I think either side you need to have either one of it. I mean, uh, you can have a pure movement. Yes, I agree, but uh, I don't think you can have a pure non movement. Just saying, right? So uh, I I would recommend lean, lean into it uh, because it's not a movement build. The second one that I like to also highlight is probably one point into the uh, toughness. Uh, give sorry, one point into don't you know who I am? So they still give you the um, kind of like toughness, kind of like you know buff. So this is useful. Uh, cream some force field um, for harder content. Make sure you have it on your hot bar. Uh, it gives you a whole chunk of stuff um, on, on on the total defense rating as well as the flat and so on and so forth. Uh, maximum health, so it's useful. And the uh, I don't really have a lot of points to dump it into the Sion of Citarat. I mean the buff is actually pretty decent as well. But uh, I I think I value other things as well. So it is more of like um, shall you take away some point into another point. But I use the Sion Citarat mainly to replenish the uh, momentum. Uh, that is for my Sunday build, All right? As for the unstoppable uh, tree. Can't be stopped. But you have to max it. This passive are uh, pretty good because if you look at his score sheet, a lot of people ask me, you know, Juggernaut doesn't seem, you know, high damage on. But uh, you have to keep using a power, like you know, when you strive and you whatnot, then then the then the uh, then the power, you know, the crit everything go up. Like for instance, if you look at crit right now, it's uh, three point six percent. Well, no gear of course, but once you start to use some power, uh, then then you go up to like you know eighteen point three percent. So same apply when you have gear on, just. Yeah, just don't feel too, too depressed when you look at the raw number of Juggernaut. You have to move him, then then the uh, then he get a lot of buff here and there, all right? And the other thing that, um, you know, this is good, the Strive. I wish that, um, yeah, I, I wish that this does some damage and 
I'm able to rank it up into another power similar to this one to make the movement work. But anyhow, anyhow this is not for non-movement. Uh, Sunday Punch is uh, good. So just uh, max them. This is the core of this entire build. Unstoppable charge as well. And the devastating charge is mainly for me to get 50% of the momentum. Uh, so that's all. Uh, I'm not using this one to, to do damage, do, do massive damage. And uh, so I don't need to really fully charge it as well. Uh, it's a pity though, because the number doesn't seem that great, even as a movement build. I, I think people use it just for one pointer, which is kind of a shame. This one should be a very, very hard hitting power, anyhow. Um, then in, there, are, there are quite a number of um, um, single span that you could use, either Rope Adobe or Knuckle Sandwich or the uh, the Broom Brawling. So uh, I think Knuckle Sandwich has a pretty high kind of like um, uh, uh, you know potential. Just that it's competing resource with the the rest of the build. Because if I'm if I'm going for a area kind of build around applause and enter the fray, you know uh, these are all very much very very. Um, it, it demands certain amount of momentum, uh, so I I I still think Rogue Adobe is all right because uh, I calculated the number. It looks quite okay as well. Um, the the good thing about Rogue Adobe is that as your momentum gain higher, you actually get uh, better in, into your heating, right? So that is something to remember. And uh, enter the fray. I mean, this is a very good layer, man. This one just use it for the above 30% momentum. You're not playing movement build, so you don't need to use this to recover mo momentum. You spend momentum to, to make it a very nice kind of area. And uh, say if the boss or mob move away from the area that you have, so you know, you may have like, you know, um, you may have done it one time somewhere and you know, so here is like earthquake and then if the mob move away, just make sure that you, you, you have another area that has the, you know, it just keep, keep following. Well, it won't have two area, but at least you can move this enter the fray damage over time to where the enemies are. So just remember to do that. It's a very good layer. All right. So uh, in terms of Omega system wise, uh, again, this is not movement build. So things like, you know, I'm not going to talk too much about the, um, the Omega system right now, because again, the game may change with all this like uh, blessing nerf as well as the synergy nerf. So Omega system may take a very different form and shape, but I would recommend things like uh, durability is good. Uh, those with defense and melee power is good, um, and also things like um, you know, plus strength. Uh, those are good stuff as well. Uh, plus fighting, so those are good as well. So just pick along that side uh, of it. As far as hero synergy, I think uh, Ant Man is a plus one uh, strength. But again, I mean all these things are. You know what? I'm not going to talk about the synergy anymore because they may just nerf everything until uh, whatever you choose doesn't really matter. <laughs> Because anything good they can explore it will become nerfed. Uh, so that is one, and then uh, next bit is onto the gear. So onto his gear, um, just can't remember that uh, spirit is not spirit for juggernaut. It become momentum. Um, now the magic number to hit, of course, is uh, anything the tenths, because uh, it is always things like you know. Um, like, uh, hang on a second, like this one here, per 10 momentum spend. So uh, in theory, just uh, put it rounded to like 50 or 60 or 40 or whatnot. But in practice, if you notice this meter here, you know, it's very hard to actually maintain at the maximum. Uh, I, I wish that, you know, you know the punish, Punisher design whereby it's not too uh, taxing as in like there's a, a kind of gray area, gray Gray area, gray area. Well, there's an area whereby anything beyond is already 100% momentum, you know. Uh, so they, they don't really have that design. So, you know, you, you have to maintain up to max to use it. Usually it's not. So don't overthink it. Uh, if you like, like nice round number, you could like me. But in practice, reality doesn't really make sense. Yeah, just saying. Uh, artifacts, there are many nice artifacts out there. Check out my uh, best artifact guide. Um, there's always a lot of like guidance there. Um, I, I think block, uh, I take this one from drop from blob. Uh, it's actually pretty decent. Give you plus strength as well. Uh, receive less damage and whatnot. So this is a decent uh, artifact for juggernaut. And the uh, I like crossbone because it gives me a uh, crit and brutal and whatnot physical damage and so on. Uh, it's good to always have either side. Uh, this this artifact the roll for the range is terrible, but that's fine. He doesn't do range. 
Uh, I use Kingpin. Now, the reason why is that I needed more. I need more health for Juggernaut. Uh, but I think if you play a movement, you probably pick something like Electra or something else. Uh, do you need Kung Fu Ma Kung Fu training? Probably not. Uh, but again, I treasure things like health. I treasure things like extra nine hundred defense and dodge as well. Um, it's just one of those data heroes feel fragile and you feel terrible if you keep dying, right? And the uh, and next one, now I uh, man, this is a, what a pity, man. I mean, this is a pretty decent kind of like um, artifact for the movement build. But like I said, I try movement, never really like it. Damage output not really my cup of tea. So uh, I keep it for Juggernaut, uh, but you could replace it with another. I mean, even if you don't have fully make make use of the movement power, because the only thing movement is to enter the fray as well as the um, uh, unstoppable force. Right, so um, I I would say if you already use it, I mean one day movement build movement build may become fun to play. I'm not saying that it's not bad, it's terrible, but it's just not fun to play at least for me. So, uh, but there are many other kind of like you know options as well. That the flag of the empire, like the jump the curse, um, you know some of these equally and even even hand of doom. I like hand of doom. Uh, equally good uh, artifact. There's so many good artifacts this day. It, we are just spoiled with choices here. Big stuff. Uh, and the uh, and relax wise, I uh, get momentum. Two hundred fifty three, fifty two more momentum for high stat. Uh, I I yeah. I mean the thing is that you probably have, have a lot of Gimborim lying around these days, and there are many heroes that make uh, full use of this. Just use it for the juggernaut. And just for the <laughs> yeah. So this is yet another legacy decision. As in like um. For Juggernaut, uh, I, I don't really have a lot of movement, but even if you take away the movement, kind of like a fix there, physical and crit is also not bad uh, to, 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 to sort of like, you know, uh, for this rune work for Juggernaut. And uh, looking back, I will actually apply it to the, um, to the physical power kind of thing. Uh, but I think everything here is melee anyhow, so uh, except round of applause, like, you know. So it's one of those legacy decisions that I wasn't that wise before. I mean, I, I think they should just do away with the melee or whatever uh, Euroforge because just stay with the but then again you may have melee hybrid so I take it back anyhow um, so I would say don't use the melee one use the physical um, uh, Euroforge um, but uh, this is quite a decent one to farm this is from Juggernaut I farm it after 120 time in the past and it dropped for me it's a, it's a recipe you need to farm for it um, as for the as for the, uh, the, the, the legendary, uh, great 80 legendary probably would be the crystal, uh, but I, I would say X is also not bad. I mean, uh, if you have a, a few lying around from the anniversary event, yeah, use it for Juggernaut, but if not, then uh, is this the right time to give it to Juggernaut? I do not know. Um, I would just go for the X 80, and, yeah, because I can always take it away and equip to another hero if I don't want to have one per hero so at least oh, I have my fun with Juggernaut may not be so viable I feel a little bit fragile don't like it so I can still uh, give it to oh, the next hero Black Hat maybe uh, much much better beneficiary of the, um, the Great 80 Legendary uh, Great 70 is good new uh, for Juggernaut alright uh, Great 70 is good new as for this um, uh, as for you know he, he, he does have a quite a number of melee although I said the round of applause is not rip melee what a pity uh you know, use ICP ring. I would not. I I would. I know some of you ask me if I'm using the other ring, the Midtown ring. I uh, I just need the plus one rank to all power because like look at this. Uh, look at my power. Uh, it's it's not really that high up. Some of these are still pretty pretty low. Hmm. I mean, I've been farming on my unit pretty well. It's just one of those data hero that is still quite a fair happy from fifty rank fifty. I mean, all they need to do, right, my friends, is they just need to up do something, update the unique. Give more ranks to the unique, right? Like any of the newer heroes, and uh, make sure that for some of us who are farming quite religiously for a good unique, we'll at least get it to close to fifty, right? What an embarrassment! Not even fifty. Some of this, like this signature, not fifty. So I mean, that's also one reason why you feel that your juggernaut could be a little bit under power. It's just not enough power, not enough power rank. So that's why I, I decided not to use the um, the ICP ring, but I use the uh, I'm sorry, not to use the MM ring. I use the ICP ring for juggernaut. And uh, I mean, I, I think his unique is is all right. Is I mean, I, some of them I have challenge bonus as well. You know. Um, but I, I'm I'm well aware that I'm well aware that there are the better boss artifact on Juggernaut but I always stick with the hero unit because 
they should uh, these are the baseline. So whatever you see here, if you can do better, then do do better than me, all right? And the 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 costume is the crit damage rating costume. Uh, if you have the um, core give you the momentum, uh, use it because it's quite a big chunk of stuff that you could use a uh, momentum or plus speed if you movement build. But for Sunday punch, just go the vanilla way. I mean, you can have the uh, uh, plus. Plus one strength, plus one fighting, or even the momentum. Those would be pretty ideal. Um, yeah, I mean these are just you can use any any kind of insignia that that make uh, your jacket not work. Again, there are some that with the uh, momentum as well, so use it. Uh, then this is the pet. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. And uh, well, the pet just for for those who may not uh, seen this before. So I think in clothing, um, Juggernaut is a very data hero. It is the same era as a Magneto, and you know Magneto is not doing that well either. Although he has a little buff on him, uh, should you be playing unlocking him and play today? I would say well, I mean play the newer heroes first. Uh, but if you are a huge Juggernaut fan, I mean usually when I I always say this sometimes. Fans always make things happen. They, they give the hero the best attention to be just somewhat on par with some of the newer heroes that don't really need a lot of like love and care and still can do really well. Um, so yeah, I mean, I hope this video is useful. I still and much, much enjoy the Sunday Punch non-movement build compared to movement. I, I tried that and uh, I think in Petrol it's alright. It's kind of fun to keep moving, but I got really headache and I got really pain to just watch him play the movement build. Anyhow, uh, see you next time. If you like this sort of video, check out the link at the description of the video. There are more guides, um, updated guides as well in my website. Goodbye.